Embracing Heroes is really a byproduct of the times that we live in. Two thirds of the people we spoke to in the last year said that they thought the world was a worse place to live in than it was when they were growing up, which is a sobering data point, but not at all surprising when you consider the disillusionment and despair that's come about with economic uncertainty throughout Europe, uh, the Syrian refugee crisis, or even the escalation of violence and terrorist activity. But Embracing Heroes is the response to that, a great resilience and hopefulness. And so we embrace heroes, not among our political or civic leaders, we're looking at the everyday Joe, our neighbors, our friends, our co-workers, that aren't doing death-defying feats or extraordinary acts of courage, they're just spreading kindness in their own way. If you look at things like the GoFundMe crowdsourcing site, they have six million donors that have raised $470 million for causes that are big and small. Most of them are run by complete strangers, but people want to be a part of something bigger, and they're eager to share their story on social media. In fact, the New York Times would tell you that their most emailed stories are the positive stories. Everyone wants to be that chain of good news.